Hi, welcome to the homework for Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 18. Uh, I try to keep my videos short, so uh, if I rush it, which I might have to, uh, please pause the video or go back over the parts uh, to see any explanations over again or to catch up. Uh, feel free to skip ahead as well. Uh, first of all, don't forget to write your name. In this first section, I'm going to shrink this down so it all fits. Okay. Uh, we have to match. <clears throat> and we're looking at multiplication, the distributed property multiplication through um, in, in unit form. So really what we're looking at is for this first one here, seven tens. We want a total of seven tens. Seven tens is 70. And we could, the easiest way to do these really is just say that seven tens is the total. That's 70. Here's one that equals 70. Done. And what we're really looking for is, see there's five tens and two tens. And here's the five tens and the two tens. And our next one is eight fours. Well, maybe you don't know what eight fours is off the top of your head, but we're looking for five fours, which is five times four, and three fours, which is three times four. So here's five fours, and here's three fours. Those match up. Nine tens, that might be a pretty easy one to count by 10 and get that. That's 90, and here's one with 90. You can solve it that way. And this one, we're looking for threes. We've got five threes and two threes. You don't have to actually know what any of these are, but we're looking for five times three and two times three. So here's five times three, and there's two times three. It's the last one anyway. For our second one, more unit form. Nine times four. That's this right here. That's our total. There. So we're looking at 9 times 4. It's going to be, and we can break this up any way we want. As long as the it adds up, it adds up to 9 fours. So let's say uh, we could have 8 fours and 1 4, right, because 8 plus 1 is 9. And so I'm going to make this match what I just wrote here. 8 4s and 1 4. 8 4s is 32. Right? That's where that goes. And 1 4 is just 4. And 32 plus 4 is 36. So 9 times 4, 36. Uh, at the end of the last homework assignment, we had a, <clears throat> a math fact that probably no one would practice with flashcards because it's above uh, it's a, uh, above 10. But it's uh, unless you practice up to 12. Um, and that's how we had to do it. We had to break it up into two smaller multiplication problems. So I mean, this happened. When you get, the numbers get larger, you can't just memorize everything and not know how to use it. Uh, when the numbers get larger, you have to know how to, you have to understand what you're doing and, and know how to use the numbers. Lydia makes, know how to use the distributive property. Lydia makes 10 pancakes. She tops each pancake with four blueberries. How many blueberries does Lydia use in all? Uh, use the break apart and distribute strategy. Draw a number bond to solve. Okay, so she has 10 pancakes with four blueberries. That's 10 fours, right? We're counting blueberries, right? So it's 10 groups of four, 10 times four. Uh, so this is just practice with easy numbers. 10 is easy to split into fives. 
So 5 times 4 and 5 times 4. And so now we've drawn our number bond, right? We did that. And now the break apart distribute strategy, we've got 10 times 4 equals 5 times 4. That's the first leg here. Plus the other 5 times 4. It's that one there. Uh, which equals... 4 equals 5 times 4 is 20, plus this one is also 20, so 10 times 4 equals 20 plus 20 equals 40. But it uses 40 blueberries in all. Steven solves 7 times 3 using the break apart and distribute strategy. <clears throat> show an example of what his work might look like below. So seven times three. I like to work with fives, twos, ones, and tens whenever I can. So seven is kind of goofy, but I can make that into a five and a two, right? So here's our, our number bond will be seven threes, right? And we're gonna split that into five threes and two threes. And now I just write the uh, five times three. That's this one here. Plus the two times three. Because it's just a number bond. You add the two legs together. Two times three to get the total. Two times three equals right the seven times three. And 5 times 3, that's, you could count by 5s, 5, 10, 15. If you count it as 3 5s or 5 3s, it's easier to count by 5s, I think. So that's 15. And now we're going to look at the 2 times 3, and that's 6. That's just a double, right? 15 plus 6. Yeah, uh, and we're still looking at 7. We have one more step here, times 3. That's 21 equals 7 times 3. And we need an answer here. Uh, here's an example of what his work looks like. Right here, I'll just circle that multiplication equation. And we're down to our last one. There are 7 days in one week. How many days are there in 10 weeks? So we've got 10 weeks. We've got groups. So we have seven days in a week. So that's groups of seven, right? Seven in each group, and we have 10 groups. So it's going to be 10 groups of seven, right? Because it's going to be 10 weeks of seven days in each week. So it's going to be 10 times seven. And that's going to, we can break this up any way we want. Tens, I like to work with fives, because you can count by fives using the commutative property. You can count by fives really easily. When, uh, if we can't, if we have to split, tens are even easier, really. But this is just for practice. We're working with numbers that are easy to work with. So this is going to be five times seven, and five times seven. 7. We don't have to figure out that multiplication once because it's the same both times. 5 times 7 plus the second 5 times 7 equals the total, right? Just like in any number bond, it's the total is the one that the two, the two legs connect to the total. So we have 10 times 7. And we know that 5 times 7 is, we could count by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. It's 35 plus 35 
equals 10 times 7. And 35 plus 35, you might be able to add that in your head, 70. 10 times 7. There are, we still need this, because remember, we're, we're talking about days and weeks now, not just numbers. Uh, there are 70 days.